sir. Coach. Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, I mean, a great, great job by our guys. Uh, I thought the first couple of innings came out a little uh, flat, but then we settled in and, and did a great job. And we talk about we needed the sweep and um, just obviously one really proud of Joe Sheridan. Um, you know, for obviously he's been through a lot uh, with the injury and, and trying to rehab and come back. It's been a, a long um, 18 months for the kid. A lot of ups and downs, and I'm sure a lot of questions. And but he's just been resilient, worked really, really hard, and done everything we've asked. And had to do some out of the box stuff to, to get him back to where he was. And uh, just proud of him. God, he went out there and did a great job. I'm sure there was some nerves and um, you know a little excited nerves too as well. And, and and probably some fear, um, but I thought he overcame it all and, and managed these emotions and managed the game well. And, and you know, um, you know, we got to make a play or two there behind him to try to save one of those runs. But um, to do what he did after not pitching for a long time, I thought was really good. And then obviously Jack Sinclair was lights out. And, um, that was a good matchup going after Joe and uh, to strike out ten in four innings. I mean, he was just dominant. Obviously, hit 98 a couple times and 97. So. Um, you know that was impressive. So, and then offensively again, I thought we did. You know, nobody really stood out and did a, a unbelievable job. Everybody participated and did something to help the team. And obviously Jeffrey with the home run. Uh, multiple guys had two hits. Uh, so I mean, just everybody was involved and had some big hits. And, and Andrew Brate uh, gets a big two RBI. I mean, so everybody played well. Everybody got involved. Uh, it was a great team win. Proud of the guys for for the way we played. Not only today, but all weekend. Because you know there's been so much to Joe. What did you say to him once he came out of the game? And I just said I was proud of him. You know, I went up to him right before he took the took the took the mound, and I said, "Hey, man, no matter what happens today, I'm proud of you just for getting back here." So, um, but after the game, just asked him how it felt and how do you feel, and was he nervous? And um, you know, he said, "Yeah, he, he felt pretty good." And um, you know, obviously he wanted to pitch better, but that's the competitor that Joe is. And um, but he, 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 I thought he did great. So he was really happy. You could tell. Um, that he, that he was smiling a lot in the dugout and after he got out of there and there's probably a lot of relief and just joy for being able to be back out there and do what he loves. It was a career day for Jack Sinclair, the 10 strikeouts. Is this sort of the role you envision him maybe being long way? I know you said he could start if yeah. No, might have to go back to the drawing board, so just not really sure. You know, obviously we reevaluate after every game, so um, we'll obviously try to figure out what our plan is for, for, for Tuesday. Um, and uh, get through that, and but at the same time, we got to start planning for next weekend. So we'll, we'll have to sit down tomorrow and figure out what our best options are. Going back to three games, which put some more guys in the bullpen and things like that, and getting Hunsaker probably back at some point, whether it's Tuesday or this weekend. So uh, we'll have to go back, kind of reevaluate where we think we're at, and what, what gives us the best shot to, to win some games up in Auburn. Jack was effective because the slider was really breaking in. Like you yeah. said, it wasn't, didn't do that last year. Yeah, no, he's, I mean, again, you talk about offensively Dalton, just the, the growth that you've seen over three years and I think Jack is the perfect example of the other side on the mound just being a guy that came in here at 87 and 90 with a big breaking ball and last year starting to get some of that velo with the with his weight and, and being able to control and the slider was you know hit or miss and then and then this year the, obviously the velo takes another tick and now the slider is able to land it whenever he wants to and uh, again that when you can land that slider at throwing 90 90 mid 90s like just makes that fastball upticks makes it really really tough um, on hitters so really proud of the way he's worked and uh, you know, you got to give credit to Nick and um, just developing him, and, and obviously and Jeremy in the weight room, just putting weight on and getting stronger. So, really great performance tonight. Well, you, know, get just, the, you get the sweep, but what do you most want to see the team work on going into this second? Yeah, game I mean, season? offensively, we got to be a little more consistent. I thought we, we missed some pitches over the middle of the plate that we got to be able to take advantage of. Um, and uh, you know, obviously, a couple more, you know, a couple guys. I mean, we pitched really, really well, um, but we did walk, I think, ten or eleven guys. So. I'd um, like to see that go down a little bit, be able to not not go so deep in counts. Uh, some guys' pitch counts were up, just a lot of three ball counts, stuff like that, so on the pitching side. Um, but offensively, we just got to, you know, again, I think this first weekend was just a lot of unsettledness and you know trying to do too much, trying to get your first hit and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully that's all out of the way. We can settle in now, get some better at-bats, um, be able to you know take advantage of, of balls in the middle of the plate. Going off that a little bit, only four games, or what did you learn about your team this weekend, especially with a lot of new guys playing their first games for you? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're very deep. I mean, again, I, th I think we've talked about it, but you really don't know until you play somebody else. But I mean, there's a lot of battles still going on and a lot of decisions that I'm going to have to make. And um, Ben Rushing had a great weekend. Obviously, both shortstops did great. Um, so. It, it, both catcher, I mean, it's just it's just a lot of competition. Both first baseman, everybody did something, which is great. Uh, it allows me to maneuver things around. Um, but we definitely learned that we got we got a deep deep offense. Uh, we can maneuver things and play some different defenses and things like that. Um, 
know, we should be able to steal bases like we always do. And then again on the mound. I mean, playing four games, I know we can go back to three and just add another arm to the bullpen. I mean, with Litchfield and Jack and Billy and, and Hake and, um, I mean, again, whoever comes out of the rotation. I mean, it's just it's just a lot of different things that's going to allow us to do and, and, and prevent guys from getting over overused and uh, keep guys off their feet if we need to give them a blow and uh, on the day. So just proud of the guys. But we competed, and I felt like we got better. And I think that... Um, Again, I think once we kind of settle in a little bit too offensively, we'll continue to grow as a, as a group. Who gets to wear the 38 Tuesday, and what's the significance of that? Yeah, I mean, Jack's going to, obviously, with his performance tonight. But, you know, obviously, Joe's a, uh, Joe Skinner is a big part of this program. Um, he's a, supposed to be a senior year. Uh, his parents are unbelievable supporters. Um, and obviously, over the last four years, I've just grown to know the family and the story. And, and like I've always said, I always feel like he's in the dugout. And, Obviously, we don't have anyone wearing 38. We used to hang it in the, in, the, in, the, in the dugout as well. But, you know, Brian Hill, the equipment guy, and I got together and we're talking about it. And we just thought it'd be pretty cool to honor him. Um, you know, his, his parents enjoy seeing 38 on the field. And, um, you know, we, we didn't have anyone wearing it. And, and so we just felt like this would be a cool way to not only honor somebody on our team, but let us honor him and, and let everybody be a part of it, not just one person. Um, so, um, you know, I ran it by his family and talked to them about it, and they were all on board. And, uh, so we just think it's kind of a cool deal that everybody gets to go out there and, and kind of honor the jersey and honor Joe and his, his legacy and his family's legacy. And, um, and hopefully, you know, for his senior year, we go out and, and try to do our best to honor him every game. But, and of course, at the end of the year, um, try to get, you know, try to get Joe to a, a you know, regional in the World Series. It's nice to see Joe Sheridan finish with the best thing of his, of his outing, 2Ks, yep. soft ground ball. Because he fought a lot during the day with the yep. location. They weren't chasing down low either, no. but he ended really hard. Yeah, he did. And you know, one of the, one of the things he said, that, man, it was a lot more fun in that last inning. And uh, But that, that's just the way it is. I mean, I just think that, again, he probably settled in, obviously being nervous and excited. And, and um, again, maybe a little bit just fear, fear that he hasn't been out there in a long time. And I think once he settled in, just took him a couple innings to get that going. And once he did, then, you know, able probably to, to be able to pitch a little bit better so hopefully that's just a stepping stone and again we, we know that that's not going to be the best that Joe is that was never the plan and we know that there's a lot more in there with him and I'm excited to see him continue to get better like he has the last 18 months. You like in the third base box? Um, I'm tired but I don't mind it I like being out there it's been fun I missed it you know not doing it for, for seven years after doing it for nine but um, you know it's definitely this weekend was a took a little toll on my my old body. Thanks, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it, my coach. coach.